everybody welcome to the village guys sports show um of course today we've got yeah there's so much to talk about for those of you joining for the first time yeah we chat to people from paul and wellington doing amazing things and our guest tonight is one of those individuals uh we're gonna get to him in a while um but firstly dean everything all right yeah 100 percent black see here you're over the corner nice new haircut what is this look <laughs> yeah guys, so we've got uh, Kiel Abrams in the house um, and I thought it's such a cool opportunity to have him here because um, if you look at his history, uh, we're in the space now where it's Grand Como and it's uh, um, Craven Week um, and it's under 20 World Cup and he's been in each one of those. So welcome to Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah, so I think before we get to Thakir, we just want to chat a bit about what has happened um, over the past few weeks. Maybe just congratulate a few people. Um, of course, we know Justin Antong. Uh, congratulations. He's the Rocks. Yeah, so he's the new coach at the Rocks. Uh, so uh, congratulations to Justin. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, Justin. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> people, people. Yeah. people, And then also we had uh, Douglas Green, Uncle Daddy. Oh. Uh, for those of you that visit the municipality office, you'll know he's yeah. there. Uh, he's one Face of the of municipality. <laughs> you don't mess with him. No. Um, so he's a uh, bodybuilder over fifty class, over over fifty years. He came fourth in the world mm -hmm. in Manchester. So congratulations to Daggy. And then we also have a national pole vault champion, Carl Rademeyer. He's currently doing um, pole vaulting overseas in America. And yeah, he's national champion. He jumped, what was it, 5.82. And so he's also qualified for the world champs, which is nice. And then, um, of course, we're going to chat a bit about the Bola champs. Mm. The covers. Mm. The covers. Mm. Massive mm. match yes, on Saturday. Yes. Um, was a great booster. Mm. Mm. Um, so congratulations to Franzel and his team. Uh, I think it was an exceptional season for them. But as they won, they also found out that they're being bought Ooh, by Mr. Rupert. Yeah. But now we have clubs, so we always say Bola is always one of the next franchises. But it's not the players who do it in the Wada fans that is yeah, yeah. The booms. You think it's a good thing? No, it's definitely a good thing because, I mean, there's a lot of talent in and around Boland, so yeah. having that financial backing is, is usual. Yeah. Right I think the only thing for me is, well, if I think of it, it's like now currently they semi-professional, so yes. it means mm -hmm. the players work and then the players and practice, practice afterwards. As well. So once you become like a fully professional union, does it mean you have to leave your job? And what happens then? Yeah. And we'll probably also get like new players in as well. Yeah. And obviously the the guys that got like season contracts will obviously extend as well, yeah. some of them. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be a nice opportunity for the guys like yeah, in and around Paul as well to put up their hand. Yeah, so uh, probably gonna see a lot of blow with it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also own the that. And then, of course, Curry Cup champions. We had two players in the final. We had Diego Apolas yes, uh, yes, for the yeah. Pumas. Um, and then uh, George Lawrence, they won the Curry yeah. Cup. So, congratulations well, to them. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's super awesome. So, let's get to the, to the rugby. Um, so, there's so much happening here. So, tell us a bit about you first. So, we have Grant Como here. Yeah. Uh, you, of course, played, played Grant Como. But before we get to that, uh, why are we playing rugby? Like, when did it start? And you know, since, since more probably when I was born. <laughs> you know, uh, now we have a big rugby family, so like, if you're a boy, you're probably going to play rugby. Yeah. Either rugby or cricket, so yeah, yeah it started then, um, and then, yeah, I just took it from there. Um, grew up with my cousins, played touches outside on, on the tour, so like, that's where it yeah. all started. But I, I also read somewhere that you had an eye problem or something yeah, and you couldn't catch the ball. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still, still have, I was obviously still struggling with my eyes, so, but I was born like that. So, okay. Yeah, and I wore the, uh, like, the glasses, obviously, and I had to take it off when I was playing the okay. rugby, like, under six, seven, and eight. And, yeah, I wasn't really good <laughs> because I couldn't <laughs> see the ball. 
Um, um, but yeah, after that, then in grade, I think it was grade three, when I got contact lenses, okay. then I could actually like see. Then I was like, okay, I actually like yeah. this. So yeah, so I took it, took it from there, and then just so I could actually yeah. score some tries. So uh, what was primary school? Um, high school, I can say, just here around. Okay, the and, and then high school, and then four boys. Okay, cool. Yeah. So of course now it's like a super exciting time with the Grand Como and the Crazy yes. Week and and the twenty all in fall. I mean so Grand cool. Como is here in Lando. Um Tell us a bit about like you under thirteen or under sixteen, yeah. under sixteen playing Grand Como. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I was like those ladies almost excited and they get picked for the youth. Yeah, yeah. so they're going for. We slide from Kiesa's position. Zie je ook wat kies? Beklein of scrapper? Of? Ja, ik ben ik coach het, ik weet het niet. Als je net zo op een gegeven moment dat ik was aan de 13, want ik played voor Borland, obviously, in Drakenstein. En toen ging ik naar Paul Boisa, die is part of Western Province. Dus ik denk, aan de 13, beter zijn bij de spel. En toen. Toen had ik geest of veel. To set up my wing. <laughs> <laughs> to the case of to set up my wing and fullback, and obviously I enjoyed mm. playing fullback as well. So yeah, and to say the coach is not say play out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but how often to put it in the field? Yeah, so tell us Grand Como. So I was, I haven't played it. I don't think mm. I did also play it. Uh, yeah. So the the nice thing is about obviously you start on the 13th day of week and then. Um, Grand Como is three years later only, which is a, which is nice because you develop in that yeah. time okay. to play actually. Um, and then on the 13th, I mean on the 16th comes, Grand Como is like really a nice tournament mm-hmm. because that's where like some guys make it further than that, goes to Craven Week on the 18th, mm-hmm. and some guys actually don't because they don't mm-hmm. obviously develop, develop mm-hmm. as far as that. Um, which I think age group rugby is very good. Yeah. So it's very important um, to develop the youngsters, mm-hmm. obviously. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Grand Como is nice, and then you get Craven Week, which is a lot of teams now, actually, yeah. which is good because I think it's a lot 20, of, yeah, I'm yeah, so 20. it's like it's a lot of youngsters that's developing, and that's everyone is seeing now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, of course you could only see the Grand I mean Craven Week. Now it's a Craven Week. There's academy teams. Okay. There's I think there's under 17 team as well. Yeah, yeah, there's under 17 as well. So that's nice because the next year they can actually make it into the yeah. Craven Week. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so that's a good thing yeah. for now this this, yeah. this year. No, but I mean for me also it's the first time I like I had a deep dive into the youngsters, the yeah. youth yeah. week, and I think there was like a, a du- Duermhaus week as well. Um, and I didn't know there's so many teams, yeah. but it also was interesting when I looked at the Falca, that how many players of Paul play yeah, in the other <laughs> provinces. Yes. I'm like, I think on uh, this weekend I made, I, I went through all the names, and out of all the youth week teams, Paul and Wellington have about 52 players playing in mm-hmm. all the, under, from under 13 all the way Mid-board up to under 18. Yeah. I mean that's so, and then I actually asked on the platform how do people like to get scouted, and yeah. they said no, it's pretty cool because people get uh, full scholarships. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so uh, and thirteen is quite important. Yeah, yeah. So you make sure these are the sort of club tournaments, school or rugby tournaments. So every tournament that is played as make for a great tournament for a rose tournament, a summer rose tournament. It makes it that as on every day, as I was going to scout of a. Ik kan begin van die jaren, als het ook eens graag komen of ik of zo dit, dan wordt het net zo kies op hij dag, misschien is het net een goeie tournament, hij die tournament, dan maak je zacht op wat de tournament, en dan kies je wel weer, misschien naast iemand van die valke, iemand van die grappel, en zo. Jy het die besef, dat jy gaan speel maar net die tournament vir jou school, en net dier die week al kan die school oprop om te sê, ons stel belang in hy, hy sê maar daar gespeel het, en daar gebeur het. Ja, ben, so you are from under 13, then you under 16, then you under 18, and now, of course, also you are involved in the 20 World yes. Champs, you play there as well. Yeah. So, I mean, you like right through development all the way yeah. to under 20. Yeah, that's why I say like the, the uh, age group rugby is very good because mm. you, you actually you can also see like people develop from under 13. Mm. Maybe like the under 13, they didn't make the claim when we can under, mm. under, under 13. Now they're playing super okay. or like uh, the, one of the big leagues yeah. and all of those. So. I mean, that's that's the amazing thing of like developing from 
schoolboy rugby up mm. until you were professional. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, then you went to Sharks and you played a few seasons there. Um, and now you in a different world, so now you signed up for for French team. Um, I don't want to pronounce it, just now I've put Leon. Leon. Um, yeah, I mean, tell me, so, yeah, what goes to your mind? Like, you get a call and you want to go play in France? Yeah, like, if, to be honest with you, if you probably told me a year ago, like, you're going to France, mm-hmm. like, I'll probably like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just happened like that. And um, obviously, I started at the Shark. We played juniors like under 19, which is also a great tournament. Yeah. Which this year they have under 19 tournament, they have an under 20 and under 21, Jeez. which is like a lot. Jeez. Which is nice because the under 19 tournament was like it's once a year, then you like you play two two rounds and then. Yeah. Your club, yeah. So you have a pre-season play that yeah. in the club. Football. Yeah. So it's nice for the youngsters coming from school, mm. so they can play the 19 and the 20 and the 21. Mm. Nice. So you develop that three years, and then you straight into senior rugby, which yeah. is great. Yeah. So yeah. So I mean, like, tell me, uh, someone that doesn't play rugby, you play junior league, and all of a sudden you switch over to a professional mm. season, like mm. professional senior rugby. Like, what is the or did you have to adapt? What was like your biggest adaptation? Yeah, um, dedication. Yes, yeah. your dedication. Like, um, so it's very healthy that like which you you work yeah, every yeah. day. On, oh, it's like a job. It's yeah. like like it's it's a job. So your job is just like your body mm-hmm. now. So you have to look after your body, obviously. Um, so, like I said, you're under 19. For us, we we played two years under 21. Okay. So because we didn't have done 20. All oh, right. Okay. So you played two years under 21, which like your first day you kind of like the senior guys, mm. like senior guys, which is like a year older than you. Yeah. Um, but the senior guys, um, and then the next day under 21. So the the, the the development from under 21 to senior rugby is quite, I would say, it's more just intensity that just goes up because mm. like you play with your age group obviously yeah. and then you just like you play with a guy that's 34 years old yeah and you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's been playing them. like <laughs> yeah this is 12 years just be like professional <laughs> rugby like you're playing across him like yeah. it's it's intimidating but mm. um once you make your first tackle i think you're like yeah normal like this. yeah <laughs> it's normal yeah, yeah. so the intensity goes up, obviously the contact goes up, but mm. your body kind of adapts to it. So, mm. Yeah. Mm. so are you a bit nervous about this French uh, move? Uh, yeah, I'm, is uh, the wife playing with you? Yeah, obviously um, <laughs> yeah. nervous, yeah. Um, but more for like the language barrier, mm. if I can put it. Yeah. Like, there's like a few words I can say, <laughs> <laughs> but I won't say it. So. Um, yeah, obviously the wife's going with. Okay, nice. Um, that was like one of my things. Like I won't just yeah. go without her. So, yeah, it's it's nice actually because when I moved from Paul to to Durban, I moved yeah. alone. So it's yeah. like yeah. I'm mean, moving alone. So now I'm actually moving with someone. So it's mm. kind of a bit easier. Mm. So we're gonna go through it together. So yeah. it's kind of nice. Yeah. And then tell me, like, when you get a contract like this, uh, you, like, who's the first, first book? Okay, of course you tell the wife first, but out of the other people in your life, yeah. would you phone first and say, uh, I got a contract in France? So, actually, my, my parents, okay. um, which my mom was like, she thought Bourbon was far. <laughs> so, so, I was like, yeah. I called them, like, mommy, um, get the contract, get the contract in France. Mm. It's the first thing she said, yo. Is that on feet? <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, you thought they were going to sort out, okay, even yeah. further. So, I don't know, I've never to free for five Yeah, I find out, never to free for Now it's like, you actually need to plan, okay, yeah. kind of uh, yeah. France to go and all this. So, yeah. like, um, yeah, so my parents were the first, first to know it. Yeah. And my dad was like, me, it's a Mukhan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, my, I, it was actually like, I was like, my son, yeah, my mom, because she's always like, she's very protective, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, as a mother, obviously. Yeah. Um, so, if we're like off the game mm. and I call them, like, that's a thing that I do, or okay. my dad will call me. And, like, 
if I go up for a highball or no, something, it's just like my mother. What's that? How you doing? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously she's like very protective mother, yeah. so. Ich würde sagen, dass wir sie gar nicht lehrt und Jessica kommt, so viel Zeit bleiben. Ich jetzt schon, dass wir mit dem Eis kam, gibt es auch noch ein bisschen. So, ja, so, that's, ja, really protective mother, so, obviously, she's gonna miss, I'm gonna miss, and like, this far away from home, but, yeah. Yeah, I mean, talk about eyeballs, I don't know if this is, uh, I got this, uh, a try of yours, eyeballs, and I wanted to ask you, like, if there was, if there was one try that stands out for you in your professional career so far, we can... Yo. <laughs> oh, there's so many. No, 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 no. Not like that. We just, um, obviously, that's that's one of it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, scoring a try at the, at the Junior World Cup as well okay. is also special mm -hmm. um, because obviously you represent your country. Mm -hmm. And mm. it's nice when you get the win, when you actually score and you get the win. It's, yeah. it's a nice feeling. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I would say like um, the tries at the junior world cup as well. Yeah. And even for that, at least that set up, now that is that great, or for that one, great franchise in South Africa. The scene is because we have been going to see it. We are not in the 20s, and our skill is really the big guns. Who is the atmosphere? Wat, kom maar zeggen, zo'n groot naam, misschien zo'n Sia, of hoe is hij motiverend bij jou, samen met ons bij jou? Het is eigenlijk makkelijk, het zijn veel veel meer geïntimidated als wat alle intimidating is. Zo is, like, alle welkom bij jou, en, like, van de open arms. Het is niet nog, like, a big thing, because you're professional, they're professional, and, like, the standards are higher, but, you also set your standards yeah. to that. So mm -hmm. it's, it's makkelijk, they can either in, like, in come and like, part of the beast, or they can stand and like, they can stand and stand and pull up a scam. So, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. Like, and so. I also think they've been through it. Yeah. And they know it feels so they like were also yeah. 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 So it's so, easier. So yeah. they also feel, they know exactly you, you can see this guy's shy. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, we just took some of the rugby here in Paul. Um, of course, we have the World Cup here, the Under-20 World Cup. Um, and Khum is host to a few monster games on Thursday. Yeah, but uh, Yeah, so Australia is playing Ireland uh, on, on Thursday. And then France against New Zealand on Thursday, and then South Africa is playing here. Yeah, yeah, Are you going to so, go watch? Yeah, I'm definitely going to go watch. Yeah. Yeah, so South Africa is playing, uh, South Africa playing Italy. I was going to say, 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 I Begin is om een toer naar Gerben te spelen. Ja, want hij zei alle populatie in Georgia is dus 3 miljoen. En als ik wel een rugby speel, zo meer rugby aan de Frankrijk toe gaan. Het is gewoon wel dat ik een baie Georgians zou geten in Frankrijk. Dat is ook om, hij zei een reising, een reising naar het eind te toeren. Hij zei baie van, en zodra ze goed doen om een toer daar, en dan kom daar Frans is een klap, ja, om, om, pak er alle mensen te hebben. En hij zegt, het is moeilijk, zodra hij, zodra een speler goed begint te raken in Georgia, ja, kom, pak, kom. Dat is ook om, en hij zegt, als, als, vooral is het moeilijk, hij, dan toe vraag je van mij, hoe is het, hoe weet het in Zuid-Afrika, hoe is die school in Zuid-Afrika, dan toe vraag je van mij, maar nog meer, alle wat nu die oorlogs ik in de, in de oorlogs is die oorlogs van Georgia, toe vraag je, hoe is die, hoeveel school, as in Zuid-Afrika, hoeveel reeders wat er ook is speel, as in Zuid-Afrika ook so van die kan nou sê, toe is, toe vraag hy vir my 3 miljoen, ach, het is 300.000, is hy nou ons as baie mee. Ja, baie mee. Van, dus, dus, as ek kom hier sê, dus ek kom Zuid-Afrika so goed doen in, in die rugby. So, vaak hier a few questions, if not rugby, what would you be doing? Ehm, jeugdskuit. Ja, jeugdskuit. Ehm, Probably because I'm st still studying, I'm studying psychology, so I'll probably do something that maybe like go into like a sports psychology. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're currently studying? Yeah, I'm currently okay. studying. You don't have to say that.
Na, kriegt das Wasser leert, war ja, das Bayerweg, ne? Ich weiß, irgendwann so, du hast einmal auf Jahr, der Lindo, ne? And then, um, if there were three people you invite to supper, who would they be? Anybody dead or alive? Yo, um, probably Sonny, no, Sonny Bo Williams. Okay. Um, Yo, Mala Coco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and probably Mufti Ming, which is like a huge inspiration for me. Um, and if I can put two more, probably my mom and my dad, my dad will keep them entertained. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, um, cool. Um, what is your, yeah, what's your biggest achievement in your rugby professional career? Um, probably the under 20s rugby World Cup. Yeah. Right. Did you win that year? No, we oh, okay. got the bronze that year. Yeah, oh, we okay. lost against France actually. Okay. Yeah, the team you came to. But yeah. France is. Ja, ich habe gesehen, dass wir uns natürlich auch haben. Ja, ja. Alles ist spannend. Alle, uh, alle da ja von uns. Okay. Okay, so, okay cool. Ja. Um, your favorite childhood memory? Ja. To be honest, I can't remember anything under nine, because I couldn't <laughs> see it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nine years. I don't know. Um, probably just because like, I'm a huge fan, you know, and so like, mm -hmm. I like, spend my, most of my time with family. So probably... Mm -hmm. Like the times we we at my granny's house because everyone just gets there, mm -hmm. like together, like probably like on a Sunday mm -hmm. or like it's Eid, like come mm -hmm. Thursday, come together. So probably those memories yeah. when that is outside, like okay. all family. the cousins, yeah, yeah, nice. his family memories. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have a pre-game routine? Um, over Lidze, over it's what yeah. the whole... Who's the one guy we interviewed that said he only ties his left foot oh, first? Oh, yeah. people do have yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, so as Nadal the court, he goes with his left foot with his left foot with his left foot with his left foot. Okay, yeah. what's yours? I go with the right foot. But to be honest, I just like to stay calm. Like, I don't get nervous before a game mm. too much. Like, I'm just... Stay calm, like mm. I'll joke around with my friends, mm. like till the game until like yeah. we're going to warm up now, then I'll be like, okay, switch on. Yeah. And then Are you listening to music? Yeah, or? like yeah, a lot of the times. Okay. Um, what is it calm music? Was it Lincoln? Sometimes Park? no, not not <laughs> all, like I like my rap. I like I like okay. Lil Wayne and Jay Cole. Yeah, and Jay Cole as well. All right. So like I like Things that I can sing along. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, karaoke. Good voice. <laughs> yeah. um, but um, yeah, the, I'll I'll do that. Listen to music. I'll either listen to my own music mm. if I'm like okay, I, I, I feel this what I'm listening to, or I'll just um, we normally have a speaker in in the room or okay. something. Where I'll listen to whatever okay. is playing. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, who's your biggest influence in your rugby career? Um. My parents, because they, mm -hmm. since since small, my dad always follows me around. Like okay. not follows me around. Like he, he will, <laughs> yeah, he was wherever <laughs> he he could be. Like he will go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that was huge for me. Mm -hmm. because, yeah, no chance. Yeah, Reino Sansa as a coaches as my parents. Yeah. like they they were always there, so okay. supporting me since small. Yeah. Okay, so except for the twenty, because I'm going to get my senior rugby professional. Um, I would say like the British and Irish Lions. Oh, yeah. 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 I saw memory, no? That was good because we, we didn't just play them. We played them twice. Yeah. We played them twice. Yeah. So. And not yeah. a lot of rugby players experienced yeah. British Lions. Exactly. Lines. And I was like, I was still yeah, I was like young in my career. Yeah. Like I was 20, 22 that time. Yeah. Jeez. So I was like. I was not uncool with it then. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you know, like mm -hmm. playing against those people. Mm -hmm. When I was L22, it was, it was oh, huge. Okay. And I also scored a try yeah, against yeah. him, so I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those are good memories. Yeah. Okay, so just three questions. Um, Nadal or Federer? Uh, Federer. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kanye West or Jay-Z? Jay-Z. Nah. Jay yeah, Ziga man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ronaldo or Messi? Yo, I stuff. I like to say, I like to say, I think it's difficult. That's what I mean. Yeah, I can't see that. Ronaldo's mindset. Okay. You get what I mean? Yeah. Messi, but Ronaldo's mindset. And what soccer team are we supporting? 
Man United. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man United. <laughs> I mean, I always ask the people, right? So you actually the perfect person to ask because you've come from under 13 all the way to under 20 into senior. Um, like, what would you tell a 13 year old now playing in the VP or Poland? Um, yeah, what are they supposed to be looking at? What must they working on, working yeah. on uh, yeah. to to become a senior rugby? Because, like you said, I don't think there are many that start under 13 and end up mm. in, in, in senior rugby. Yeah, like obviously, there's like a whole lot of advice like everyone can give, and like you can say, do this, you must mm. do that, and and it's like just like it depends on person to person, to be honest mm-hmm. with you. But like the thing is, you have to work hard. That's like that's probably the most thing, and I know everyone says it, um, and but you just have to do it. Like just find a way somehow. If you if you don't if you don't lose to wake up the day, or you don't mm. want to go to train, just just go. It's like actually it's an, it's nice when you go. Yeah. And like for instance, if you wake up, you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this today. <laughs> if you live, like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just, yeah. Like it's fine. Yeah. So. Just work out from whatever you do, if, even if it's not about training, if if it's about like going to school, doing your work, whatever, because obviously that's the most most important thing. Yeah, to be honest, um, the rugby thing just comes because you love it, yeah. you're passionate about it, and then it just becomes like your job. Mm-hmm. For instance, like so, so yeah, just working hard. And um, one thing that I probably started with when I was smaller and still struggle with it it's self-belief yeah so like yeah. that's mm. that's huge and that's also starts with the people around you mm. like um, if you have a role model or something like that look up to them and like be like yeah like mm. you want you you need that self-belief yeah. yeah like do you have like a mentor or someone like you talk to in the rugby not your dad like yeah. in a rugby space someone that has experience that you phone and say just yeah, I'm in, a, so we I'm in a dark space, so I'm in a... Yeah, so, like, for me, sometimes, like, I'm I'm, I'm hard on myself sometimes, so I, I take a lot on, on myself, like, I try to figure it out mm. on my own. Um, but to be honest, when I'm down or something, I call my brother-in-law, Ashik, so he's, okay. like, he's the guy that, that I'm, like, yeah. my bro, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so um, yeah, it's, so, like, <laughs> I'll, I'll call him like yeah. and it ends up not being like about that it's like you speak about everything else except mm. like what you actually yeah. so yeah. that's that's a nice thing that you can just pick up the phone and like yeah. just call someone yeah and i think especially we, in your space it's like you it's a high pressure environment like yeah. i always say mm. me and dean talk like all sports people there's always someone waiting for your space yeah there's always true. a yeah. better faster true. someone at the bottom mm. so you always have to have your a game but not only physically, but just like mm-hmm. it has yeah, yeah. to be hundred percent. So yeah. you say Ronaldo's head mm. and Messi's skills. skills yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah. what can you miss from the Durban group? Yo, um, I go by him, Italy I go by him. Yeah, the Bayern yeah. Challenge. <laughs> 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 Sometimes it's a bit stinging. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the band, like joking around, or just. Was hanging it eight to like you know, by like, like, yeah, when they, you relate to mm. someone that's like you know, um, so that's why I said like, um, the language barrier is going to be a big thing, but um, yeah, I'm just going to put myself out there. But the event, uh, I, I, so they're going to have children of Florida, they said, Grand Williams, crap, yeah, ma. As you can see, it's still the man that I can create, but as you can see, it's still the man that's the most dangerous man. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. But who is the most dangerous man? That's Bayer. But I would say, um, like, Apalele Fasi. Yeah, I like him much. Yeah, I like him much. 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 Dude, thanks so much for coming through. Uh, all good, all good. Uh, yeah. It was nice uh, speaking to you guys. Yeah. Uh, just hanging, but, uh, um, and good luck. Lion. Yeah, yeah uh, good luck with <laughs> Lion. Good luck in France. Yeah, Thank you. Um, yeah it's a, it must be super exciting, but also daunting because yeah. I haven't said for day. Um, yeah, and safe travels. Yeah, thank you so much. We don't have a France follow that a little year of France to practice. Guys, 
um, yeah, thanks so much for joining. Um, sorry for the intermission. I don't know what happened there with the camera's battery. So, yeah, just to remind the Thursday, hum, we have some pretty big matches. All day rugby, I think it's like 60 rand for adults and 50 rand 55 for, for 55 to go in, which is really little. So, you have some action packed rugby, and then also the Tao is back in action this weekend. Uh, we don't know what the fixtures are, but we can announce it today or tomorrow. But yeah, until next time, next week, uh, goodbye and be safe. Serious. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.